Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a studio vlog, my very first official one. I've been obsessed with watching studio vlogs because they're just so entertaining. I actually prefer vlog content over regular art content like speed paints and product reviews and stuff like that. So whenever an artist has a vlog channel, I'm there. And then there are also people who do studio vlogs on their main channel. Now I'm one of those people who already has a vlog channel but I thought it'd be fun to incorporate the occasional studio vlog over here on my main channel, like maybe once a month at most. And it'd be a little different from my regular vlogs because it would be purely work, no personal life stuff. And I will put in more effort in terms of the filming and editing because I do so many vlogs on the other channel, I kind of just slap them together and throw them up. But with these ones, I'll try to make them a little fancy, a little extra. So let's begin my first studio vlog, woo! But not actually my first, because I've done hundreds, woo! So it's almost 10 o'clock, I'm just sitting by the computer, ready to make some listings go live. I'm sure there's some way to make that happen automatically, but one of them is a restock, and I don't wanna try to figure that out. So pretty much right at 10, I'm going to restock some enamel pins in my shop, and there aren't that many, so they're probably gonna go pretty fast, but I did, announce it ahead of time for people saying at 10 o'clock they'll be available so they're probably gonna sell out pretty quick. I have another minute or so so I'm just gonna get OBS up and running and change the title on Twitch for my stream. I'm gonna call it Packing Enamel Pins. Okay it's 10 o'clock make this stuff visible. I'm gonna double check it's there. Both listings are there, so it's good to go. And I need to start the stream. <laughs> well, the pin sold out in like one or two minutes. It was instant. That was so fast. Thank you to anyone who got pins from me. I will for sure order more next time. Like I said, this was just the test, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> so the plan for today's stream is to package up enamel pins. That means putting the pins on these little backing cards and also wrapping them up to send to people. Now I had ordered these little clear sleeves for them to go into, but because of the Canada Post delays, it did not arrive yet. And so I'm gonna be wrapping it in tissue paper. Ugh. I'm gonna use this glittery stuff here. Yeah! So my stream is now done. They typically last four hours and I just grabbed a little bite to eat for lunch, just a really quick lunch. I am gonna head out now and go to a store called Tricera Imaging to get some photo paper for the SpongeBob prints. If you guys didn't see the SpongeBob video, I was selling prints of my SpongeBob art to raise money for ALS and they were $12 prints and $10 from every print is going to charity and so I am gonna do the donation when I'm back and hopefully start printing some of the prints. I did have to get a new printer, and so I have not set it up yet. It's just, whoa, it's just chilling right there. It's the exact same printer I already have, which is the Canon Pixma Pro 100, just that this one has been printing poorly for about a year now, and I've tried everything I could to save the print head, but it's just not working right. But I'm also not done with these bad boys. They need to be packaged and I need to do shipping labels. So there's still a lot of work left here too.
So I'm at Tricera. I didn't vlog in there because it's a really tiny place. It's just pretty much a counter and then you ask for what you want. And so they actually have big packs of 250 sheets. I thought I'd have to get five packs of the 50 sheets, but they have this, which is actually cheaper. So that's awesome. So getting to Tricera took about 30 minutes. Getting back took 50 minutes. Ah. So now it's time to move this old baby and bring in the new one. These just came in the mail. These are for the SpongeBob prints. Normally I get some clear sleeves from clear bags, but my other order from clear bags got stuck in the mail. So I figured I'm not gonna order from them till the Canada Post strike stuff is all solved. So I just ordered those sleeves from Amazon and they're actually really cheap. Ooh, baby. I mean, you hear a little bit noisy. So it took me an hour to get my printer to be set up wirelessly because it just wouldn't connect. Finally, I got it to work. And then I set it to print with a USB cable because that's what I typically do with prints. But I just really wanted it set up wirelessly because it prompts you for all that when you install the driver and I just want it set up for the times that I do print wirelessly. But when I do prints, it often stops halfway through the print job and spits the paper out or it just starts printing slow randomly. At least my old one did that and so Typically when I'm printing high quality prints, I just use a USB cable because it's faster and more reliable and I don't waste the expensive printer paper. I have wasted one sheet so far. The first printout I did actually had some yellow on the edges. I was doing some touch-ups and I thought I was using pure white, but I was actually using a very pale yellow and I couldn't notice on my screen, but I could see it in the printout, so I had to fix that. But the second printout looked fantastic, so I'm ready to just start batch printing. While the SpongeBob prints are printing, I'm going to assemble a spreadsheet of people's names and addresses and all that info so that I can print off shipping labels. So I finished inputting all the address information and now I'm just printing off shipping labels. And then when that's done, I have to stick them onto the packages and then that's pretty much it. And then I guess stuff the packages. I do not have adhesive label paper yet. So I will have to glue these down or tape them, which will be quite a feat. <laughs> and then there are some orders that don't have labels because they're going to Canada and I'm shipping those a different way.
I'm finally done with these. I definitely stayed up way later than I should have. Lately, I've been trying a lot harder to not work late so that I can spend more time with my husband in the evenings, but he just left tonight to go on a weekend trip. And so I was like, oh, I'll work late. But because he left for the weekend, I also thought it was Friday. And I'm like, no, Bailey, it's Thursday. You have to get up for your stream tomorrow. So that'll be fun. But I'm just super excited. I got all those enamel pins done in one day. It was a really long day, but they're done at least. They sold out so fast that I could easily order twice as many next time, if not more. But I don't have the time to package that much stuff. I mean, sure, I'd be fine maybe with double, but I have to keep the items at least somewhat limited so that I at least have time to put together the packages while still getting YouTube videos done. There's a reason I stopped running my own store and it's because I didn't really have the time, but it's just so fun and enamel pins are fun. and. I feel like it's almost like the early vlog days right now with me making packages and doing conventions again. It's just like the old days and it makes me really happy. I, I just want to do everything, but I have to limit myself. Otherwise, I won't have time for it all. So yeah, that is it for my first official studio vlog. If you enjoyed this and you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, I do post vlogs several times a week over on that channel. It's always linked below. Hi, Midna. <laughs> she wants to lay where my camera is. They're not edited as fancy as this one was, and I don't always set up all the interesting shots. They're a little more basic, but it's a lot of the same stuff, just me working on things as well as more of my personal life. So yeah, let me know. Do you want to see more studio vlogs or is it just too similar to the vlog channel? I don't know. I thought I would try it. So one thing I forgot to do when I was recording this studio vlog was make the donation to ALS. And so I'm just going to insert this tidbit right here. The prints were $12 each and $10 from every print is going to the ALS Association. And so since there are 250 prints sold, that's $2,500 to donate to ALS. So thank you so much to every... Sorry for the printer noises in the back. I'm printing some of those SpongeBob prints as we speak. <laughs> but yeah, thank you anyone who got a SpongeBob print. And if you missed out, I'm so sorry. I had to make the cutoff at some point. There's only so many I can make and ship out, especially with things being crazy for the holidays. I'm really busy right now. And so this is where the cutoff is this time. But if you would still like to make a donation directly to the ALS Association, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna click donate. I'm gonna have to blur out some of this stuff. <laughs> That'll be fun to edit. One time gift. Yes, this is an honor or memorial gift. <gasps> I didn't even know you could input that kind of thing when making the donation. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna click complete donation. Boop. All right, there we go. Cool. There's the donation in my PayPal. Once again, thank you guys so much. If you want to see some of that packaging of all the Spongebob prints, head over to my vlog channel, Bumble Bailey, because that's where I'll be filming all of that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.